for years, a tale has been whispered in the shadows of car meets and forums. The Gen 2 head is a mere reflection of the mighty Boss 302 head. What if I told you it's just a fable? Let's uncover the truth once and for all. Are you the same as a Gen 2? You stop for that bullshit, Dave. You know that shit ain't true. When I was searching for this answer, I asked everybody. I was searched the interwebs. I was determined to find out, is the Gen 2 really the same as the boss? Part of me felt like this answer can only come from heaven. God, can you help us figure this out? Is the Boss 302 really just like a Gen 2? This is God, David. I don't give a shit about no damn Ford. Hey, Dave Lacalli with Head Games Motorworks. Today we're going to pit two titans of the Coyote world, the Boss 302 and the Gen 2 Coyote. Are they really the same? Keep watching. Now, it's long been rumored that the Boss 302 cylinder head has lived on, and it is a as-cast version in the Gen 2 Coyote. And I've heard this for many, many years, but is it really true? Is it true that Ford took the... I guess the idea of TrickFlow, so TrickFlow offers ASCAS ported heads. Did Ford do this with the Boss 302? I think we're gonna just flow test it and see for ourselves. We're gonna look at the differences in the cylinder head of the ports, of the valve size, whole nine yards, and um, that's what we got going for you. So let's go into it. Here is the Boss 302 intake port. There is, you can see it's CNC ported. They have light fins and it's really not the most beautiful port in the world, but uh, it is definitely a powerhouse because this thing picked up quite a bit of horsepower for an NA combination. That's all uh, the, all the Boss 302s were sold NA. They make, I don't even know how much power, 405 I think it was, something like in that area. You guys can correct me. I know, because we have one, I should, uh, I should probably know this. First thing you'll notice is that Ford put this roll enhancer in here, uh, CNC'd, and the combustion chamber does not have a provision for a DI. And that's something that, this combustion chamber is actually different than all of the regular or, you know, non-boss cars that had a different combustion chamber. I said they're CNC ported from the factory and this is the intake port. It doesn't have guides in obviously because I'm going to flow this thing. I got to put guides in it. But that is the first thing. Well, let's look at the Gen 2. The Gen 2 does not have those roll enhancers. So uh, does that mean they're the same? They're not as cast ported. You'll notice that None of this is blended in like the CNC port is. All this here, uh, it's actually not even the same size. And I will say that this is why when we did our pocket port video, that the head picks up because we somewhat make it to size that the Boss 302 cylinder head does and then it picks up some flow. But these things are not the same. You'll see that Ford really it was had to blend in a CNC valve job. This thing is pretty, uh, pretty gnarly. And the other thing I noticed is that the valve job is different. So they added an angle here that they didn't add here. And the valve job is completely different on the intake side and on the exhaust side. If you'll see here that they added an angle on the bottom cut here and they added the same thing to the exhaust side. Everything is not as it seems. So, so far, I don't see how they're the same. On the exhaust side, you'll also notice that this is the Boss 302, as I was mentioning, the combustion chamber. 
and the combustion chamber on the Gen 2 is not the same. It has this little knot here and you don't see that here. Looking at the exhaust port, the CNC port looks like a dog chewed on it in there. I don't know exactly what was going on in that CNC, but this is true OEM. Nobody came in here and started grinding on this thing. Somebody definitely, maybe they had a Rottler and they're a dimple in it. Um, a lot to be said for their step over, how they did the guide bosses. This thing is freaking ugly. Like who, who wants this? Just pay attention to the shape of this port, like right here. Um, pay attention to this as we roll over to the Gen 2. Looking at that masterpiece, you'll see that the guide bosses are kind of the same. But the Gen 2 has this fin here and it goes on the roof and the floor. And that is something completely different. The Boss Stereo 2 does not have that shape at all. And if you've watched any of my videos, you know I put fins in there. We do that for some airspeed. It looks like Ford did something different here. All right guys, this is the easiest way I could think of to show you something like this. Not normally how I measure a port, but you see how this is uh, 1480. Uh, and then we are gonna go over to the Gen 2. The Gen 2 exhaust port is bigger. All right, so now I think that we just dispelled the, uh, the myth that these two cylinder heads are the same. They're not the same. They're nowhere near the same. Or maybe they're close to the same, I don't know. But you can definitely see the port shape's different, the valve job's different, and those two things alone, and the combustion chamber's different. So those things alone show us that the rumor, the myth, is just a legend and it's not it's like paul bunyan it doesn't mean that it actually is true it just means that we wanted to pump it up as such now we're going to put them on the flow bench and see which one reigns supreme Right, guys let's do the results are you ready for this now it might surprise you on the intake side uh, some of you guys complained about you couldn't see anything uh, i'm not putting the numbers up though that's uh we can put a chart up the numbers are th that's getting a little crazy on me uh, so the gen 2 is losing at a higher lift right uh we got 19 cfm the boss the boss is winning 19 cfm a higher lift 10 by 150 and then the gen 2 just comes on trucking by 300 they're even and then the gen 2 just starts taking off by a whole 3 cfm at 350 lift one at four they're the same at 450 it's a dead heat man and then the boss by three four and seven cfm all the way up to the peak I flowed this one up to 600 lift, although you're never gonna buy a 600 lift cam for this thing, but I did it for, uh, for you guys. Now on the exhaust, on the exhaust is a different story. Now, if you remember, the exhaust port on the Gen 2 was bigger, but did it make it better? Now, the Boss 100 lift has it by 10 CFM, they're the same at 150. They're like two CFM difference at 250. And then the boss just starts taking off. Five CFM by three, we're 18 by 450, we're 21, 22 throughout the rest of the range. So the bigger exhaust port didn't really help the Gen 2. And they're really not the same. As you can see now, 
those two cylinder heads, although they flow somewhat the same, they're not the same. They don't look the same, they don't act the same, and although they're close, let's call them close cylinder heads, but let's not call them as cast, only that these things are the same thing and you can com you just completely compare the two, you can't. So I think that we just busted that myth and the boss showed who's boss. So for shit and giggles, we stuck the Boss 302 CNC port from Head Games on the Gen 2. And as you can see, how well it cleaned up. It pretty much doesn't clean up anything on the exhaust port. It cleaned up the divider, uh, none, right? It just touched it here and it hit the guy bosses, hit a little bit, it hit a little bit on that wall. Uh, but really, it didn't clean up at all, further proving because if it was the same, they would all port the same. We're going to hear that again. Hold on one second. Let's check out the intake. You notice that all anything that cleaned up really was the entrance of the port and one side of the divider. Uh, nothing, nothing really cleaned up. Now, we also stuck the Gen 1 port. We did that just to prove the case that the Gen 2 is really just not like the boss because if it was, all of that would clean up. All that CNC, uh, it would look like the Boss 302 CNC port, which it doesn't. We already kind of knew it wouldn't because the size is different. Um, but I think we completely have debunked that. I actually think that the Gen 1 is closer to the Gen 2 than the boss is to the Gen 2. And, uh, Sorry guys, I think that this rumor has been going on forever and for whatever reason, a decade later, I'm the guy who's gonna tell you that. And I, don't, I, I haven't really understood that part because I've been hearing about this for years. There's people who have been into this for a very, very long time who have never debunked this and I, I haven't understood why. Anyway, that's gonna do it for us today. Uh, we have a ton of Coyote content coming uh, and we have some flow battles coming. We have some voodoo stuff coming. So uh, some Boss 302 CNC port stuff coming. So make sure that you subscribe, like the video, and we'll talk to you soon. Toodles.